Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Ultimate Arc, and it is episode 51, which is kind of crazy. Uh, in the last episode, we gathered up a crap ton of milk, and it is all in my fridge right here. We killed an alpha wyvern, we also milked another wyvern, that sounds really wrong. And we have this amazing trophy, but here is some amazing news. Now, I originally planned on actually going out and trying to steal eggs for this video, but on my way back from the red obelisk, I stopped by a couple drops that I saw, and, uh... I found myself a 150 Rex, so we're gonna go ahead out and actually try to get that here today. I might actually use, yeah, I might just use the Thyla. That might be the best option. Um, so yeah, I have all the stuff on me to be able to do this. Let me just double check. We got the kibble. We're just gonna use extraordinary kibble. I know that they don't actually, like they can take whatever the other one is. What is it called again? I can't even remember, exceptional, but I don't have any of that. But obviously I do know that you can use the higher tier kibbles than what they actually require. But I generally don't because they're, these are quite expensive. I mean, it costs a Lazarus chowder and then a bunch of other stuff like honey and different things. And then it also costs uh, Uteranus egg, which I mean, like we're producing them. Well, not me, but like, you know, my <laughs> Uteranus is producing them. Um, so we have like a few of those, just not too many. So I don't really want to be wasting too many of them if we, if we don't have to. So, uh, I don't really know of like many other creatures that we even need to be taming here in this series. Hello. <laughs> They're all just sitting up there. I don't even understand. But, um, yeah, so I don't know. We, we should have enough here for today and maybe a little bit left in case I find something that I do like. I know I want Deodons and I want an actual good Uteranus for the boss arena, but... Yeah, we're going to have to obviously maybe save up a couple more eggs to be able to get all of that kibble ready. I don't know how many kibble a Daedon would eat. Probably a lot because those things are, they're fat. So anyway, the Rex was like around here. That's probably it over there. Uh, there was like a drop over there and I saw this thing on the way out. I've actually been looking for Rexes from the very start of the series pretty much. Yeah, 150 male. Oh man, that thing looks kind of terrifying um <laughs> i've been looking for rexes since kind of like the start and i found a couple decent ish ones but i never really bothered trying to tame them but once i saw this i was like okay you know what we can wait and we can you know we can get the eggs after we could do this now just in case it dies somehow or whatever you never know some things could just die or despawn or just i mean there's so many things around it could easily just get killed uh we just got rex roared and my little jaboa dude was getting a little bit scared so I want to just try and clear out the area just a little bit before we actually attempt this. Yeah, this is exactly why. Stupid terror birds and creatures like this will just run straight in and hit him once he's down. I know it. I know that would happen. So anyway, uh, we might... Oh, oh crap. He can get up this hill. Ah! All right, we should be okay. I mean, like, I could take... You know what? I could probably just tank all of his damage. Let's just probably... Yeah, we, we just might do that. We'll see. Um, okay. <laughs> we'll just stand right here. This thing looks really strange looking. It's got like white and green and it's like brown and it's kind of like gray underneath as well. It's really strange. Very nice colors though. I mean, I do like the green on top. That looks cool. Got like a green mohawk. Oh man. Alrighty. So guys, make sure that you hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. It's episode 51, like I said. Uh, we have, after this one, we only have like, what is it? Like nine more episodes on this map. Oh, it's going to be crazy. Hopefully we can get all of the things that we need to do done before we fight the Manticore at episode 60. And we can leave this planet, not planet, we can leave this flat earth and uh, head straight over to the Broken Ark. <laughs> Can't wait to try out Aberration, honestly. I like Aberration, it's a fun map. You know what I just realized? Look at my specimen implant. Like, it looks so cool with the uh, Wyvern gauntlets. What's, what's there? I feel like I just heard something. Or maybe not, I don't know. But yeah, it looks so cool with the uh, Wyvern Gauntlet skin that you get from killing the Alpha Wyvern. It's really, really nice. Uh, I saw a couple comments of people asking why it looks different. And in case you didn't realize, <laughs> in this series, we've defeated the uh, the Overseer. And that's what you get when you defeat the Overseer. You get that new implant. Well, this is the one that you get from defeating the Alpha. Uh, I think you get green for the Gamma, blue for the Beta, and red for the Alpha. And that's what we did. We're not going to get a specimen implant update after this map, though, because Scorched doesn't have an ending, which a lot of people seem to be confused why. I actually, whenever I mention it, I always get comments of people saying, like, why doesn't it have one? And I, the main reason is, is because they never made one. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I mean, like, they never made one, so it doesn't have one. Pretty, pretty self-explanatory, but yeah. 
It really sucks though. I wish that it did have one because I think I, I feel like the scorched part of this series is really just going to be like weird because you know we're we traveled from the island to here and we had a whole cutscene for that but we're not going to have something from here to uh aberration at all and that really sucks so i don't know maybe if they ever introduce one which they said that they're not doing it so i really i wouldn't hold out my hopes but if they ever do it maybe what i'll do is i'll re-upload episode 60 with the actual ending like cut in or something we'll see we might do that i don't know i prefer not to but we might end up doing it. We'll see. <laughs> Let's just kill these guys. And this wreck should almost be down, I would say. The few things around I might need to kill. Okay, let's just move away from him just in case he falls down right away. Stupid terror birds are on me. Come on, buddy. I should probably check his torpor. Yeah. Okay, let me see. Oh, I can't see. Nope. Come on, let me see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. One or two more shots. Okay, we got to watch out for all these things around here, though. We can almost choose where we want them to go down, so... Maybe... Maybe, like, right around there should be okay. Wow, he, like, broke the tree. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so we got a terror bird here that we need to kill. Okay, what else is around? Unfortunately, we don't have a snow owl to be able to just properly scout the area, but I see some wolves down here So let's go down here and kill them So yeah, Scorch doesn't have an ending is what I was trying to say a few minutes ago. Um, it just doesn't There's no they just never made one Um, there's a couple reasons why I would say and it's to do with the timeline of when they actually added the ending to the island like at the point when they added that they fully released arc and they were already like cramming to try to release aberration uh they thought they were gonna release it like several weeks later for some reason i don't know why they thought they were literally releasing it in september uh i think or was it october i don't know why but they they never met that deadline <laughs> so i don't know i feel like some of that stuff has to do with why it doesn't have an ending but um it really sucks it really does i don't like the fact that it doesn't and it's probably one of the things that really disappoints me about uh the whole the whole like freaking dlc stuff because if aberration wasn't happening that soon they probably would have worked on an ending for scorched because i do believe that originally they actually wanted one um so yeah really sucks but it is what it is and there's nothing that we can do about it so anyway i think the area is relatively safe we should be okay to feed you now don't know how many kibble it's gonna take i'm gonna give him like 15 for the moment though uh let's hop back on and Let's hop up there and maybe we can get like a good bird's eye view of like the whole area just to be sure that there's nothing nearby. Um, no, I think we're pretty good actually. Yeah. So the Rex is down. That's awesome. Um, we we're hopefully going to try to get a couple more Rexes. I don't know if we're going to get another one here today though. I'm going to look around to see if I can find any. You see Rexes aren't really that common on this map. Um, like, there's a few spots where they spawn, but there's never, like, that many of them. I would say you could probably count um, the amount of Rexes on the map at one stage, like, at, at any given time with your uh, with your two hands, you know? There's definitely less than 10, I would say, at all times. There's just never that many. Uh, there's another one, but are you a good level? No, you're a terrible level. Let's go kill you. So, um... Yeah, hopefully we can actually get another good one. It has to be female as well. This one here is a male. So even if it was a good level, it would have to also be a female as well. <laughs> Die. Got him. Sweet. Alrighty. So is there anything around here at all? I don't see anything. Let's run up this hill here. Ugh. So this area here is pretty good for them. Uh, I don't... Do I have a GPS? I do. I do have a GPS and it was sitting straight in my in my hotbar. So yeah, this is the kind of coordinates that you might find a few of them. But like I said, there's never even that many. So you can kind of find them in around the desert. And then I do believe around the blue obelisk is decent for them as well. But there's just never tons and it really sucks. Um... I would say Scorch is probably one of the maps that you need to rely on Wyvern's from. 
whereas like on Ragnarok you can go ahead and just <laughs> you know there's tons of oh my god that's so many pegos and I'm not going that way there's like tons of spinos and tons of rexes all over the place on Ragnarok so you can you, you know you can use like the ground mounts for your like boss fights and whatnot but uh on here I I don't know we I would hope that we can actually have a couple decent rexes to bring into the arena with me mainly for dealing with um you know like when the manticore does land that would be great uh but also like for the other creatures in the arena for when the manticore is landing and i need to be fighting like rock rock elemental spawn death worm spawn in the in the arena as well so it could be kind of messy if i don't have something to at least distract some of those things so some rex is the in the arena is what i want i want maybe Really depends on how many good level wyverns we get, but I would love to bring maybe like at least 10. Um, and then we're going to have to bring like about 10 wyverns or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. We'll definitely have to kind of wait and see what we have at that point. Um, but yeah, I do want to try and get some rex breeding done. Nothing crazy like what I did on the island. Like I would say if I am doing mutations, I'm probably just going to get just a few mutations. I'm not going to go like absolutely crazy like what I did like 15 and 15 is ridiculous you are a new rex you weren't here a minute ago definitely weren't you're a cool color though it's got like orange under underneath its belly so yeah uh probably a few rex mutations nothing crazy um and then obviously all the wyverns that i'm gonna bring and everything else so step back over to our dude and just see how he's doing there's terror birds all over the place here now great that's perfect love when that happens no 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 come here Come on, this is a high level. 140. What, uh... What's around the area now? I think by leaving the area, I probably screwed myself a little bit because I think some stuff has respawned. Okay, nothing nothing bad. Let's check the rack down and just see how he's doing. Okay, Ooh, can I even... There we go. 15% and you've eaten one piece of kibble, so you're not going to need that many. So what is that? He's going to need like uh, 10, I think, in total. Nice. Alrighty. So yeah, uh, we'll be back in a little bit. Uh, you know what? It's not even 10 in total. What am I thinking? <laughs> that is so dumb. We'll be back in a little bit and uh, we'll check out this Rex's stats. Hopefully it's decent because there's not that many. Oh, uh. hey, a Rex just got up. Amazing. All right, let's see what type of stats you got there, buddy. All right, that health isn't too bad. Um, melee is a little low though. Uh, stamina is decent and weight is fine. Don't really mind too much about the weight and the stamina is okay. We're not really even gonna be riding on them, so that doesn't really matter. So yeah, health and health is okay. Melee is not great. Uh, so yeah, not a bad Rex at all. Um. All right, let's get it back to base then. So I'm gonna walk all the way over to that giant cliff thingy over there. So I might take a look and see if there's any more Rexes around the area. Obviously we can double check this spot right here and then just kind of like go around, check all the other spots around the map. So hopefully we can find another one. If not, I, I have no idea where I'm gonna put this footage, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Anyway, we're gonna get this thing back to base first and then go out and have a look. Okay, so we found a 140 female Rex over here, which is perfect. We're going to try and tame this thing. Uh, oh, okay, it killed the Daedon. I didn't think it would, actually. Sometimes Daedons are kind of difficult to kill. But uh, yeah, freaking 140 female. It's absolutely perfect. It's exactly what we need. Start tranking this thingy out, and maybe we can just tank the damage again. Okay, so it's actually doing... Is it doing... Yeah, it's doing more damage than the one that we tamed earlier, which was the 150. So that's a good sign. I mean... <laughs> I think that one did like 51. This is doing, well, at its highest, this one's doing like 67. So that's a lot more. Hopefully this thing's going to be good though. We'll see. Alrighty. So I've killed quite a few Rexes around the area, but uh, finally we actually found a good one. Uh, we're over at Blue Alb right now. There's Blue Oblisk right there. So you can probably figure out where we are right now. They kind of spawn in around this area here, uh, just out to the desert from Blue Alb. So uh, yeah try and knock this thingy down all right let me actually check its torpor right now 
Okay, so we're doing good. We're, we're already like a quarter of the way there. Maybe more. Definitely more. <laughs> All right. So this, when I get this thing fully tamed up, I'm actually, oh, you know what? I can, I can upload it to the obelisk to get it back to the base a lot quicker. That is so handy. Okay, that's perfect. But I was going to say, we're probably just going to like check the stats and kind of compare it to the one that we got earlier. And maybe this will be the last one that we tame here today. Hopefully. I don't know. I mean, like, I'll keep my eyes peeled throughout the rest of my time here on Scorch to just see if we can get some more. But if we get some really good stats out of uh, this and then the other one, then we wouldn't even need to be looking around anymore. So, yeah, let's see. How tamed are you now? Wait for the start to reload. And uh, let's check. Alrighty, we're getting really close. Another 5k to go. Alright, so... Uh, I think we're relatively safe in this area. It seems to be killing everything around here, so... I think we should be good. It should start running here any second now, I would say. And, uh... Hopefully it's gonna run out towards the desert a little bit. Not into the water at the obelisk. Okay... Go on, keep going out that way. Having a um a moth with me right now would be really handy, actually. If I had one of those things, the Lymantra, that would be super handy because I could slow it down by just doing the like a uh, little mothball poop, and that way you couldn't get really far. The only issue that I'm seeing right now is it might end up running into like an area where there is some bad stuff. Let's just try to lead it back that way. Perfect. At least we know over here is semi-safe. Um, yeah, there's some darwolves and stuff out there and a scorpion. And it's down. Sweet. All right. Let's see. Let's go kill everything then. Oh, man. All righty. You and then the darwolves. Bam. Why do they even howl? Like, it just allows me to have time to kill them without being hit. So silly. <laughs> Let's get these ones as well. Uh, so we got the thorny dragon. We got two scorpions to kill. I feel like my dude's getting quite heavy at this point. I have been collecting up and keeping all the hide and everything. Uh, let's go ahead and just pull all this stuff out. Okay. We could probably drop the rest. Maybe keep a couple stacks of meat. I'll keep the pelt as well. Keep a couple stacks of meat and then drop the rest. And then that can all go back in here. Bam. And give me that back. Sweet. Alrighty, so we still have lots of kibble left. Uh, the last one took seven kibble in total. So this one should probably take maybe six, I think. I don't know. We'll give it seven just to be sure though. And it is floating. Okay, sweet, and let's go check the area a little bit more. So yeah, it's perfect. Once it gets tamed up, we could just bring it over to the obelisk and avoid Capro as well, trying to upload it, and then we could just pull it out at the green ob. You see, that's the handy part about living beside an obelisk, so I can actually do that type of stuff. Super handy. Um, plus, you know, obviously I don't have to move my army halfway across the map or make like a new little uh, base around an obelisk. So I think that's what I'll probably end up doing Actually, you know what? We won't even need to be doing that on Aberration or Extinction because on Aberration, we don't... Oh, crap. What is that one? I think this is a lightning storm, right? On Aberration, we don't have access to the obelisks unless we go up to the surface or down to Rockwell's little area. Yeah, that's a lightning storm. All right, that's okay. We should be all right. Um, and then on Extinction, I do believe that like, we don't really need to be around an obelisk at all. We just need to bring all of our stuff to the little, uh, the little domes and whatnot. The boss arena places. So, yeah, um, I guess on here, I had the right idea. I wish I did also have that idea on the island. That would have been super handy. I think we're safe here. I'm just looking around just to be sure, just because I hate when something hits something that I'm taming. Like, it's the worst, especially if it's a good level. So, I think we should be all right. Um, so I'm going to ride through this uh, lightning storm and wait for this thing to wake up and I'll bring it back to base and then show you guys the stats once it's there. Okay, so we have our Rex now. Let me show you guys the stats because I'm pretty happy with it actually. 
It's got some decent melee, a lot better than this one over here, at least. I mean, 360 is nothing crazy, but it's still pretty good. Um, it has less stam and less help and less weight, so we'll probably go with that from the other dude here. But uh, yeah, pretty good in general. Um, so we're going to be going with about um, 8,360 on the health and then whatever the stam is and then 360 on the melee so not too bad let's actually go in here and let me show you guys the saddle blueprint that i picked up off of a red drop um rex right here so it's not insane but it's insanely expensive uh let me <laughs> let me just drop this in here and see if we could even craft any of them i don't know if i have that much hide i should do i mean i might have enough for one i don't know if i'd have enough for two. Oh crap i hate the way the freaking inventory shifts like that it's so annoying Try to, like, spam in a bunch of items, and it just won't allow you. I mean, I do have a lot of hide. Uh, I think the hide's mainly in the other one. I just have two of these boxes just full of resources here. Uh, I'll just chuck all that crap in there. Yeah, sure, that works. All right. Um, so, yeah. Let's see. We can definitely craft one, I would think. Oh, we need metal ingots? Are you kidding me? I'm out? Seriously? I'm actually out? No, I've got... Okay, no, there's not enough in here. <laughs> okay, apparently I'm actually out of metal. When did I waste the rest of my metal? What did I even make? Oh, yeah, I think I know. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> Alrighty, well, it looks like I need metal. That's great. Um, I thought I would have everything. I definitely wouldn't have thought I needed metal. If anything, fiber. But no. Alright, well, I think I'm gonna have to gather up some metal because I didn't even realize I was low. Uh, let's quickly just refill these canteens here. Bam, bam, and sweet. Alrighty, so I'm gonna gather up some metal, and then we're probably gonna craft up two of those at the moment. Um, how much hide do I have, just in general, all over my base? Let me see. Uh, hide. I have... At least 10,000 in there. Um, and then probably, like... I would say around maybe 16, almost 17,000 in total. So we're going to need a lot more. Oh, man. All right. Do you have any more for me? Because I'm going to need more. You got a little bit. Nice. I'm going to grab all this. Uh, so we're going to need hide for sure before we do that boss arena. Um, and we're definitely going to need metal. It's not insane on the metal. How much is it? Yeah, it's it's just over a thousand, but the hide is the issue there. You see, if I want ten of those, I'm gonna need a hundred thousand hide, which is just really gonna be difficult to get. Um, the freaking fiber as well is like five thousand. Where the hell's my sickle? <laughs> oh, I don't even know where it is. But yeah, um, we got a lot of gathering to do. Is what I'm trying to say. We're gonna have to gather up crap tons of hide and crap tons of fiber mainly and then the metal's fine because it's all around my base where's my anki he's in here so we can gather all that up really easily because like as you can see there's nodes there there's some over there there's some over there some over there it's just everywhere so it's really handy but everything else is just walk really far to get type materials uh so yeah hmm i'm gonna try and at least make up to these saddles here today we'll see but uh, yeah, like I said, we got a little bit of gathering to do, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so we're just back from a little hide run. Let's see, let's just drop it on here. Let me actually see how much we gathered. Because it didn't really take that long. Uh, 13,000. Oh my god, that's awesome. Yeah, Thylas are really good for, for hide. Also, they're super fast in general, so you can get around really quick. Uh, let's try to craft some of these then. So we got one. I wonder do I have enough fiber for another probably not yeah I'm, I'm out of fiber but there's enough hide in here for another actually probably another two considering the fact that we had in around 17,000 we just brought back about 13,000 so yeah a good amount of hide left in there now I know a lot of people are probably wondering oh why don't you just go ahead and uh and use what is it called a mind wipe and just go completely into crafting skill like you did on the island now while that would be a really nice idea, um, I don't really want to actually try and make mind wipe tonics over here. What do they cost again? I can't even remember, but I think they cost... What do they cost to make? I can't even remember in, off the top of my head. I do believe they're just really annoying materials. It's like rhino horns or something, isn't it? Mind wipe. 
Okay, no. Okay, well then apparently it's not, but whatever, it's fine. I think these saddles will do for the Alpha Manticore anyway. It should be all right. So while, yes, I probably should go ahead and do that, I'm probably not going to. <laughs> it's fine. I mean, like, there's not a huge amount of, like, weapons and stuff I'm going to be crafting over here. Um, I think maybe we'll do it again when we're in Aberration. We'll see, but... Yeah, we've got this really amazing wreck saddle. Let me actually just see how much damage we take just from general creatures around the area with this wreck saddle. Like, it's almost 100 armor on it, so it's pretty good. Uh, obviously, crafting skill could add a little bit extra onto that, but it's okay. I mean, I'm completely fine with the kind of value that it has right now. Uh, most things are dead around here, so will we even be able to find anything that can bite me? Anything at all? <laughs> I, I legitimately think I just cleared out the whole area. Uh, okay, well, there's a raptor. I guess we could get the raptor to attack us. There's two raptors. All right, cool. Uh, there's also an Anki. All right, let's get that Anki to fight us. We could probably just stand on it. Okay, so 18 damage. Yeah, that raptor's doing like nothing. All right, so this armor should be pretty amazing. Go ahead and just eat up these guys nice an extra 30 hide perfect the rex is so terrible for gathering that but it's pretty good um for the electronics actually i got quite a few and metal and oil hmm wonder what the best creature to harvest tech creatures is huh it's the rex i don't know if it would be would it i think you know what it might actually be pretty good i might have to look into that for when i want to make a giant farm of just killing uh, baby tech creatures for for all of those amazing materials but um yeah i think we're probably gonna be done for today guys um i actually gotta go off and get myself some wyvern eggs that needs to happen soon because we're really we're really pushing it here with the milk <laughs> oh i thought i'd be doing it immediately but i just got completely distracted by this rex right here but i'm pretty happy i went for it i did want rexes anyway so it's really nice to actually just find something when you're not completely like pushed to actually find it on that same day like i was kind of worried that we wouldn't be able to find any good ones and then we'd actually have to just spend a whole episode of just running around what the hell's happening what is attacking ah it's a raptor i have my creatures on passive just because i don't like giant like dino explosions when things happen also creatures don't generally come up and attack my stuff up here so it's okay it obviously chased that morellatops but uh, yeah, so we got our Rexes, we got our saddles starting to craft up, and uh, we can obviously get a few more once I get that sickle out and collect up a crap ton of fiber. But anyway, if you guys have enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more like this, you can, of course, subscribe. And like I said, we have, what, nine more episodes over here after this one. So, oh man, we got a lot of stuff to do. We definitely do. But uh, I'm excited, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.